300 million new users coming to EOS. What's going on guys? Rob here. Welcome back into the channel. Reddit competitor introduces EOS token to its 300 million users. So who's coming to EOS? That would be Tapatalk. Tapatalk's mobile first app for forum owners and their members is used by over 200,000 forums in 186 countries. Those forums have connected to Tapatalk have an aggregate registered user base of 300 million people. Crypto Insider says, when we first read this, the initial thought that came to mind was there must be a typo somewhere or an exaggeration. No one at Crypto Insider had ever heard of this forum app that has a user base on par with Twitter and Reddit. And I would have to agree with Crypto Insider here. Though I have heard the Tapatalk name before, I did not know anything about it. And for it to have 300 million users and not be a household name that is quite interesting so taking a look over at Tapatalk's website what is Tapatalk? Tapatalk is a mobile first community platform that provides the infrastructure and service you need to build a great community so scrolling down just a little further on the web page here you can really see where a large portion of this user base comes from and why it might not be such a well-known name and already have 300 million users. So if you've ever been on Google+, Plus, you know they are shutting down. I believe they will be totally shut down by April of this year, so just a month or so away here until Google+, Plus is completely gone. And though Google+, Plus never really became king or even close to the top of social networks, there was still millions and millions and millions of users on Google+. Plus. And with them shutting down, those communities that did build a big following and had a large community, where are they going to go? Well, Tapatalk makes it easy. They have a migration service where they migrate over your entire Google Plus community over to Tapatalk. And users of the Google Plus communities can log in to Tapatalk just with the same credentials that they use to log in to Google Plus. So if we look at some of these communities that have already migrated, Holiday Inn Club Vacations, if you're in the US, you know Holiday Inn. It's a really big hotel chain here in the United States. And they migrated over. They say, we're extremely grateful to have Tapatalk to take care of the entire transition end to end. All our posts are retained and our members can simply log in with the same Google account and continue the discussion. And another Google Plus community highlighted here is the Substratum Development Community. Their community had 42,000 members and 142,000 posts, all migrated over to Tapatalk groups in one weekend. So the Tapatalk team really has the migration service down, being able to migrate over a community with 42,000 members and 142,000 posts in just a weekend. That's pretty good if you ask me. So for those big communities on Google+, an obvious place to migrate to is Tapatalk with them handling everything, moving over all the users, moving over all the posts, basically taking the community from Google Plus and deploying it on Tapatalk over a weekend. So once I saw this whole Google Plus community migration service here, it makes sense where they can have such a large user base already and really not be a household name. And if we scroll to the bottom, you can see some highlighted communities here. They have communities in pretty much everything. I mean, technology and computing, they have a GoPro user forum, sports, hockey, hobbies, politics, literature, travel, a cruise forum, business interests, health, sports, biking, various subjects, football, religion, spirituality. So they cover the board. It does not matter what kind of forum you want to set up. So if we go back over to the article with Tapatalk's CEO here, and to learn a little bit more, the company is based in Los Angeles, is backed by venture capital, employs 40 engineers in the US and Asia, and is cash flow positive. Crypto Insider asks, Tapatalk has 300 million users and yet we've never heard of it before. How is this possible? 
The CEO says we are a niche service. We provide an integrated interface and a mobile app for the communities from around the world that before oftentimes were being hosted on local servers. So Tapa Talk has its own reward system called Gold Points. And Crypto Insider asks, do you have an ICO in your plans? They say no, but eventually we would like gold points to be listed on exchanges to make them more liquid. So no ICO here. And here's where the EOS integration comes in. The gold point wallet is being built on the EOS platform and should be released later in February. So we are getting close to the end of February here. So I'm assuming any day we could see the gold point wallet here on EOS. The end users will not notice the change. Everything is being implemented on the back end. It doesn't affect the user in interface. So this is big. You know, this is 300 million users that probably were not interested in crypto being brought into the blockchain space. And that's huge because most of the people in crypto projects are in the crypto space. So they probably started off with Bitcoin and you know, moved on to different blockchain projects from there. So to me, this is really big. You know, people always talk about in terms of adoption for blockchain, you need to bring in people from outside of blockchain and make it so easy and seamless that they don't even know they're on blockchain. And this right here is really one of the biggest projects, if not the biggest I've seen doing that with 300 million users coming on to EOS, a blockchain platform, and the changes are only being made in the back end, so users won't even know that they are on blockchain. So why did they choose EOS? Crypto Insider asks, don't you have to pre-buy about $2 million worth of EOS tokens? Tapatalk CEO said, EOS has good APIs, it's scalable and affordable. No, not at all. We had to stake a relatively small amount, it's in the five figures. So Crypto Insider came out thinking they have to stake $2 million worth of EOS tokens and Tapatalk said, nope, five figures. And this is a lot due to just the developments in EOS we've seen over the last six months where now one EOS gets you about six times more resources than in the beginning. One final quote here from the Tapatalk CEO. Our combined user base is on par with Twitter and Reddit. We are building a decentralized social network with more equitable reward distribution. We are competing with both traditional social networks and decentralized ones such as Steemit. We have researched Steemit quite a bit. Our biggest advantage over Steemit and other decentralized social networks is that we are not starting with zero. We have an existing user base and we are just adding features. So this news has me really excited about EOS. I'm excited to see where this takes us. This is a big step for EOS and really blockchain in general, bringing in 300 million users. So I'm interested to hear what you guys think about this. How do you think this will affect EOS? And I'm also interested to hear if anybody out there in the community has ever used Tapatalk. Are you on Tapatalk now? Are you in one of the Tapatalk communities? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to be keeping my eye on this project and if any new exciting developments come out of this, I will be making another video for sure. So uh, stay tuned for that if you are interested. But that's going to do it for me for this quick video guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. But that's it for me for this one. I will see you in the next one and as always, stay living that crypto money life.